Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Summertime, water's getting hot, fish are schooling up. It's one of my, this is one of my, this is my, this is, this, this right here is my favorite time of the year to fish. So I'm going out this afternoon. We're going to be trying to catch schooling bass. Going to be throwing a crankbait. Going to be throwing a Carolina rig. Sometimes in every sport, you need a cleanup hitter. And that cleanup hitter for me this year has been a hair jig. If you guys have been watching, you've seen me post a lot of fish that I've caught on a hair jig this year. It is one of the best cleanup baits. It's not a bait that you go down the bank throwing and think you're just gonna whack them. It's a bait after you've caught four or five on a crankbait, you throw something more subtle in there and a lot of times it gets that bigger than average bite. Not a lot of people are throwing it. I'm gonna explain why this bait's so good, how to rig it, the, everything. So first off, the hair jig that I like to use, this is a Spro bucktail jig and a half ounce white. I like white because it imitates the shad. I like the Spro because they use that good, super sharp Gamagatsu hook. You cannot beat it. This thing is sticky. And also, the, the hair on this bait is real puffy. It sticks out, and that's what I want. I want it to pulse when I move. I like to put a trailer on mine. This is a five inch jerk minnow from Big Bite. And you see how much action every time I move my hand, this thing's got action. So when, when I pop this bait up, this whole deal pulses and moves. The fish can't stand it. It looks like a wounded dying shad. They cannot stand it. I like to throw mine on 20 pound test fluorocarbon. It's a it's sunline shooter. I love it. It's, uh, I like to use a little bit bigger line because a lot of time I'm making a long cast. I don't want a lot of stretch. I also, use a seven foot eight extra heavy Denali rod for this technique because I want to get a long cast, but I mean, I'm throwing it a long ways. This is a big hook, it's a heavy bait. I want to pile drive that hook through the fish when they hit it. Now, how am I fishing this bait? First of all, like I said, I'm gonna be fishing, starting off with a crankbait or Carolina rig or something, getting the school fired up. They've started to die down. You know there's still fish there. You want to catch a couple more, maybe you're looking for that bigger fish. You're gonna pick up the hair jig, throw it in there, let it hit to the bottom, and then you're gonna stroke it off the bottom, hit it, and then feather it back, reel it, start and stop and start it, dart it, swim it, pop it, and reel erratic. When the fish hits it, a lot of times they don't load up on it. your rod bow up, and here you go, you feel a push, a pop, because there's three or four chasing it, they're competing. You've already caught a couple on a crankbait, they're a little scared. When you feel that, you start feathering it, popping it, reeling it. When you feel them hit, you keep reeling it, and when he hits it, you're, when they really hit it, you're gonna know it and you break his jaw. I mean, you bring him in. Guys, this is one of the best cleanup batters in the game. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and tune in next time, guys. Thanks, bye.